little rain in the valley today, so I'll be uh, working inside the Napa County Sign Shop. Give you a little tour. Uh, got a little logo out here that I had printed up. I'm just kind of testing to see how the sun's going to affect it. Anyways, we'll go inside here. Show you where everything goes on in here. All right, this is the entrance to the shop. It's a little county building. It's probably been here 60 years. It's pretty old. A little air conditioner unit up there and a heater. Works out pretty good. Anyways, here's the front part of the shop. I have a little workbench where I can do some miscellaneous projects. Keep all my metals down there. Of course, at every shop you need serious radio, a microwave. Microwave was a road found, found it on the road. A little trimmer here that I trimmed down some vinyl scraps. I'll show you later what I do with those. There's some miscellaneous stuff. I got some uh, little cabinet space here. Space isn't a premium in this place. Everything kind of labeled. Various nuts and bolts and stuff that I use. Some little file cabinet. Found that alongside the road too. Keep some papers in here. I keep all my work orders. I have everything broken up into the three districts that we take care of in the county. My computer, my desk, complete with the iPod and tunes. Gotta have that. A printer up here, file cabinet, keep some other papers and sorted stuff. More work orders. These are a bunch of sign replacements that I have to do. And here's my Gerber plotter cutter. It's a 42 inch cutter. About the most I ever cut is 36 inch wide. It's a graph tech. Here I have the rack with some vinyls, masking tapes up top. I kind of keep some sheets over it to keep the uh, dust out. A little sign chart on the wall. Doesn't do much, but just kind of covers some bad sheetrock, I guess you'd say. Anyways, I had this thing I found. Well, I didn't really find it. I got it. Uh, it was at my house. My girlfriend said, get rid of it. It freaks her out. So I just hang this up, and this is what happens to people who back over traffic signs. Got some old signs that up here in my collection here in the shop. I have an old 50 mile an hour speed limit that they used to use for nighttime checks in uh, California. Or nighttime use, I guess it would be. Old stop sign, road closed. Somebody was very angry at this sign and shot it. It's an old street sign that I had to uh, replace the street signs there that people were, you couldn't see what street you were on at night. No, please don't read that sign. Put this above, it says visual communication technician. That's what I refer to myself as. It sounds better than just the sign man. Old yield right away sign. Marine gear and outside in the shop there's a little hallway that leads into the bigger shop is where I kind of keep my uh, signs that are ready to go here's a historic bridge I'm gonna put up and identifies the Napa River too. put it all in one blank usually it was just two signs here I can keep some of my overflow I don't know if I get a good picture of it in here keep some of my overflow of signs that I keep in stock I got certain areas here. These are signs that are gonna get installed. Back in the shop, my sign truck all tucked away because it's raining today. Back in the shop again then. Here's the room where my table is. Uh, we made the table out of metal. Wall it together. Down below there I keep my sign blanks for my street name signs. Down below I have some storage areas there for my vinyls. Like I said, the space is tight in here so I try to make use of it I can. Um, added these uprights, cut some electrical conduit, put some, drilled some holes in it, put some screws in it, doesn't let it come out very easy. Anyways, I can roll out the, the vinyl. I got some diamond grade. High intensity prismatic diamond grade. We just use diamond grade. Uh, got some orange and some yellow down below. Extra sign blanks. Stop sign blanks. Actually, those are going back. Those are too small anymore. Um, got some extra shelves here where I keep some pre made stuff like for end signs. This is going to be for a 30 inch. These are for 24 inch. I have some fire trucks ready to go. Up here, I think I have some. Uh, 
bike lanes that I'm working on. More storage area for miscellaneous tools and stuff and uh, parts, street sign brackets, what have you. Extra scraps I keep on top. Same thing over here. Some corrugated cardboard I use for temporary signs. Got a couple sizes. Different chemicals and solvents I use for the signs. And just some uh, shelves here with all my little box for used razor blade, razor knives, exactos, property stickers, sign identifications, squeegees. I get a little OCD sometimes. I got everything that has its own little box and everything in its place. It keeps the shop more organized. Um, got some scraps down here. When I done cutting them, I showed you I had this uh, trimmer over here. And it's kind of got some pre-made guides on there. And what I do is I trim those out to about this size right here. And I use them on some fiberglass markers that you'll see alongside the road someplace. We use these carcinite markers, and they fit in there just, just perfect. And what I do is I get a little drawer here down in my storage cabinet, and I keep a different bunch of them. When I cut them down, I got some for yellows. More whites down there. Here I have like a 60 cabinet storage thing, and I'll keep some pre-made uh, vinyls ready to go, EC films. Like when I do the W13 ones, the mile per hour. I can put them on the border here to get the sign made up. Some storage area for my uh, nuts and bolts that I use. Refrigerator fan, cabinet, all road finds. I have a little cabinet here from State. They uh, supply me with all the, uh, well, we have to buy it. Uh, Graffiti removers, different solvents, paints, and stuff. Try to paint the graffiti away from the guardrails. There's my wall up there, some hot rod cars, and then the muscle cars and stuff. I love the old classic iron. Steering wheel out of a Corvette I used to own. Here's our table. At the end of it, I have a drafting table, or they used to use it in the uh, downtown in the county where the Surveyors would keep their maps, so they were going to throw it out. So I got it and I use it to store Here I have different size borders um, I'll have some Scrap black EC films that I use for making numbers for the vehicles here. I have some pre cutouts for signs that I'll be Using you know for some no trucks. Here's a deer symbol. I got a couple deer signs to make Works out pretty good 48 inch roller, air operated, eight foot long table with a cut mat on it. Works out pretty good for you know, assembling the signs and what have you. A little storage down below for some extra vinyls that I have cut out pending making some new signs. Anyways, I have a little charging station over there, a little water cooler, a little board here for current projects. I always like it when people say they want it right away, I say, you want it when? I have some pre-made templates that I'll use for making some stop aheads and some uh, W13 ones. Little boxes where the mile per hour go, a little white line up there is where the speed will go. I just draw it on the sign blank when I'm making the sign, it helps line it up easier. Otherwise, it's a pretty small shop. Here's some more vine, uh, blanks that I have, aluminum blanks. I have a company called Zap. I send all my used vinyl in, or used vinyl, used signs, and they strip all the vinyl off of it and everything. We buy it back as a blank. So I'll get a 36 inch blank back for them. A brand new one will cost you about 30 bucks. For them to strip it off costs about eight bucks, 10 bucks, something like that. And then by the time we make the sign, we can make the signs for a third of the cost of a brand new sign. That's kind of a little area of my shop in here. Yeah, somebody got really angry and shot that one with a shotgun. But uh, it's pretty small. It's pretty efficient, though. I utilize the space pretty well. I'm the only one that works in here, so I keep it kind of organized to suit my needs. Anyways, just thought I'd show everybody the uh, sign shop I work out of. Thanks for watching.